Hello all you people out there in TV land. I am CG Studios, or Kurt, and today I'm gonna to give you a quick look at my Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest at World's End Compass Replica. This is Captain Jack's Compass from Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, I've wanted one of these as a compliment to my Jack Sparrow cosplay for many, many years. And it wasn't until uh, early last year that I actually took steps to building it. Uh, I enlisted the help of my dad for some machining of the timber, as the timber itself is quite interesting to work with. And I enlisted the help of Lost Kiwi Designs to help do the inlays and acrylic work. Uh, as you can see, all of these ivory inlays, I had a bit of a thing about using ivory, so we went for acrylic plastic. Um, the compass itself, the body is one, or machined down from one piece of turpentine timber. It used to be an old fence post, so it's got some really lovely aging and cracking through the grain, which is beautiful. My dad uh, machined down the stump to match the measurements and dimensions that I needed, hence the dome, things like that. Uh, and then from there, I did a lot more of the hard work. This compass has the interior dome for the inside, which has again been machined out. We've got this, this nice little lip around the edge that then hides our leatherette interior. I have nothing against using real leather. I had a really nice piece of faux leather that looked quite similar to the movie piece. So I've used that until I can find a suitable replacement. One of the really nice things about this compass is this intricate inlay work. Um, the center circle, that is one piece. But every other inlay that you see, they are individually cut and fit. I wanted something that felt like a piece you'd find at an antique shop, with not quite square edges. Everything's ever so slightly off, as it would have been handmade back in the piratical times. I had uh, Lost Kiwi laser cut up this beautiful compass dial, which has been laser etched and then it's been hand painted. You can see if you catch it in the light, we've got some really nice gold leafing around the edge and on the compass points. And then this center section here is completely brass. It's been chemically etched and then soldered together to give that really nice sundial edge to it, as well as the brass support struts. It's finished off with a brass latch a brass hinge, and a bronze ring pull on the back. This is one of the few details that I did differently to the original, where I actually did an external uh, external hinge on there. One of the big things that we'd notice while working with this, you can see in little areas here, is this grain is quite brittle. And trying to cut a slot to then hide a hinge inside that as a veneer, would not have held up to regular use. This, on the other hand, being epoxied and then screwed into place, is very durable. It's gonna hold up really, really well to a lifetime of pirating. One of the really nice things is that the compass dial does spin, and it spins really, really nicely. It does not, however, point to what you want the most in this world, like Jax does. In fact, it doesn't point much of anywhere. Um, it is literally just floating a floating disc on a little brass pin through the center there. That's all you really need to then sail the seven seas, find Tortuga or, you know, rum or whatever you could possibly want. Except if it's one of these, it's not gonna point you to one of these. You're just gonna have to make it yourself like I did. That's all from me. I just wanted to show off something that I'm very, very proud of. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you like seeing things like this, I'm more than willing to do more of these videos. Hopefully I'll have some very cool and entertaining uh, videos, content coming your way very, very soon. Hit me up with a like, let me know what you want to see.